Rashford, absolutely brilliant. Kalidou Koulibaly. England versus Senegal. Who do you think will win? Senegal has got a very good chance and this is why. Do you know what? Let's get into this story. Welcome to Jet. So first and foremost, before we get into this topic in a Yemen, so you can have a full understanding of what this story is about. Give thanks and praise to the creator of the universe, Father Yahuwah, and to his son, Yahushua, Hamashiach. Yes, man, we must give thanks and praise. 29 Nation enters Qatar World Cup 2022, and from those, there were five, and that dwindles down to two. Yes, man, five African nations enter and two remain. Can Morocco and Senegal survive the last 16? And can Senegal beat England? Many believe that Senegal can. From these performances, watch this. So costly and is and Senegal A brilliant goal by Boule Daya, but Famara Jeju is jealous and wants one for himself. It's got a brilliant header. They have their second, and it's Fabra Jeju. So, in the end, Senegal defeat Qatar by three goals to one. But Senegal is not done yet. They want more after their defeat by the Netherlands. They are challenging and heading towards glory. And who in their path? They're willing to take it, take them down. And that they did. Watch this. Senegal. Cool as you like. Ismail Assar. Senegal into the lead and as it stands into the last 16 of the World Cup and what a calm goal by Ismailia Sa and Koibali wants one for himself it's a good delivery oh and they strike back immediately Kalidou Koulibaly with his first ever international goal so that was the highlights of Senegal and what they're capable of. Now the recap for England. What can they do? So Sterling finds England defender Shaw who sets up the goal for Billingham who scores it. And it's in from Billingham. Another decent pass by Shaw who finds Maguire and then sets up... Bissaka at the World Cup. But England is not done yet, still hungry for goal. Bellingham find Kane. Kane looked around, Kane made his move and then find Sterling! And the finish from Raheem Sterling is absolutely spot on. Okay, England, you've scored three. I don't think you really want any more. Take it easy with Iran, but not when Bakaya Sako has the ball. And Saka keeps on going himself. Oh, why wouldn't he? But if England's performance against Wales is anything to go by, then Senegal needs to start worry. And it is Rashford. And it is absolutely magnificent. What a strike from Marcus Rashford. Nothing Danny Ward could do. Right into the corner. He is back enjoying his football again. Marcus Rashford, MBE. And Phil Foden wants one too. Hey, and there's Foden. Come on, you guys should know that one goal is not enough for Rashford. He wants another. Rashford. Absolutely brilliant. A rejuvenated Marcus Rashford is running riot for England. So will Senegal beat England? Or England is too strong for them based on the match with them and Wales. You can see how strong and efficient they are. Um, and there are there is a team that has gone further than this before and they have the capability or would you say the african cup winner senegal who won the african cup of nations man beating egypt on penalties they are a force to be reckoned with man and should not be taken simply and lightly yes man and even with the absence of sadio mane senegal forward player who obviously missing this world cup due to injury when he suffered playing for Bayern Munich doesn't necessarily mean that they're a weak side. Watch them because they are strong and effective thus far. The strongest side in Africa and the African Cup of Nations winner, I believe that Senegal has a real chance to defeat England. But what is your view? 
Will it be Rashford sending home Senegal early? Or will it be Kalibali sending home England packing? Drop your comments, man, and let's have a debate about this, man. For those of you who forgotten to subscribe, you know, please remember to touch the like button, smash the subscribe button, touch up the bell, and remember to share with friends and family. So here we are going, we're going to jet off, you know.